Hey, my legion, what's going on? I got some natural sunlight in here. And I wanted to talk about this double feature I saw last night. It is uh, from Capcom. And I haven't seen anything. I haven't done a movie review in a long time, so I thought I'd do a review of this. Basically because I like the whole Capcom format, which is... I haven't seen anything for Capcom in a while because the DVD thing is going the way of the the rooster. At least these old, these at least these older ones are. Uh, Capcom has like double feature. It has a movie, and then it has a cartoon, and then it has some commercials, and then it has a second feature, cartoon commercials, and then like has a beginning uh, intro and outro, like similar to like you'd see it's like an auditorium back in the old days watching movies and stuff like that, or similar, similar to maybe like a drive-in too. Well, anyways, the first feature is Bucket of Blood, and this is one of Roger Corman's uh, most well-known and beloved movies, and it's a cult classic with Dick Miller starring in it, and one of the, you know, he didn't star in a whole bunch of of movie. I mean, usually he was a co-star, he was a character actor in some other movies later on, like in Gremlins and stuff like that. But Bucket of Blood is he uh is he put he's a bus boy at this one beatnik bar and the main beatnik guy kind of reminds me of damon sandow from wrestling the way he talks and the way he acts and uh he was pretty much ignored and and dismissed and made fun of until he what happened was uh he was at his home and uh the the he went to the apartment and his landlady was looking for a cat and apparently a cat was stuck in his wall looking for a mouse or something like that and he said he's going to help to get the cat out and he goes and tries to get the cat and he cuts the drywall with a knife he accidentally stabs the cat now don't freak out everybody it's so fake it's not meant to offend animal lovers believe me and he takes out the wall and he has he takes out the cat and it looks super fake you know and the next day he has this modeling clay the next day he comes in and it's, he says the sculpture. He puts he covers the clap, cat clat cat with clay. And he says it's a brand new sculpture he did. And everybody's amazed by it. And they showcase it at the Beatnik uh, coffee house. And after that, he becomes very very successful. And everybody's more accepting and a lot nicer to him. And I don't like giving stuff away, but through a series of misadventures, he starts doing the same thing with people. I don't want to say any more about that. This is a very good Roger Corman movie, very smartly written and very entertaining, somewhat similar to, uh, like I said, one of the most more successful or like acclaimed movies, even though they're done on the cheap. Very similar to uh, Little Shop of Horrors, even though I don't think he, he filmed this in two days like he did Little Shop of Horrors. That's the old one with Jack Nicholson. Well, anyways, that one gets... Bucket of Blood gets a 9.5 out of 10. It's very good and very entertaining. Now, the second feature, My Son the Vampire, is uh, a Bela Lugosi movie. And I, this is one I thought I knew all the Bela Lugosi movies. This is one I never heard of until I got this video. And the one thing, the picture on here is a cheat. The picture, that, that picture feature right there is from the movie Dracula, which is m far much better than this movie. I mean, this is supposed to be a horror comedy. Well, Bucket of Blood was a horror comedy too, but it actually worked. This one's a horror comedy, and it doesn't work at all, except the scenes with Bella Go where Bella Gosey's in it, and there's this little kid who's a real bastard. He's funny. He's always forgetting the mischief. He's barely in the movie, but whenever he's on, it's good. And whenever this one lady's cat's on, that's good, but the cat's only on for like four seconds. Aside from that, uh, well, the whole plot, I'm getting carried away. The whole plot revolves around uh, these women are being are missing. And the one guy played by Bela Lugosi is claiming to be a vampire like his father was. Hence, my son, the vampire. But he's actually a scientist, an evil mad scientist, who kind of, who acts like he's a vampire and he lives in a, sleeps in a coffin and stuff like that. And, um, all these women are mysteri uh, mysteriously disappearing. And, and uh, so cut away to this old lady 
who runs this one shop, and this is the problem. This old lady sucks, and she's horrible and so annoying. That's the and she's like the main character in the movie, and the biggest problem is when your main character is annoying and horrible, you're in for a bad movie experience because you hate her. Oh, she's the worst. I mean, she goes in song and dance, and it's awful. I mean, and you think that Bella Gosi would be the main, the main person in here, but he's not. She is, and it's a god awful, god awful, and. She was supposed to get uh, some things from her late uncle who passed away. And for, and then at the same time, Bella Gosi, who's a mad scientist, he does stuff like uh, he can flip these switches and it'll destroy battleships and stuff. And he's supposed to get a robot sent to his place. And for whatever reason, the same place that's shipping these things had some sailors in it and they switched the stickers on the packages. It didn't make any sense why they did that. Anyways, the robot went to her, and the stuff from her uncle went to him. So he finds out about this, and Bella Gosi makes the robot kidnap the lady and bring it to her, bring him to her place. And it's just, the robot's okay. I mean, even the robot's not that great, but the robot's better than that old lady. Oh God, she's a robot. She reminds me of those hags I work with. Who all they do is bitch, 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 and they go in the, and they go outside during break. And <laughs> smoke up a storm. You know, very annoying. Oh, it was horrible. So, I give, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff, and then the ending is so bad you want to just put your fist through the TV screen, because I watched this with my dad, and my the whole time my dad just looked at me like his mouth was open. He said, this is so ungodly stupid, and I couldn't really argue with him. I said, well, Bella Lugosi's good, and uh, that little bratty kid's good, and the cat's good, and that's about it. The robot's okay. I mean, because he's done some other, and actually Columbia Pictures carried this movie. I'd never heard of it, and my dad said, I told my dad I'd never heard of this movie before. My dad said, Bella Gosey's probably ashamed of it. You know, he passed away back in the, after, uh, during the shooting of Plan 9 from Outer Space, which is much better than this. Much better than this movie. Oh, it's awful. And I'm giving it a four and a half out of ten, and the only reason I'm four and a half to five out of ten. The only reason I'm giving it this high of a rating is because of Bella Lugosi, that little bratty kid, and the cat. If it wasn't for that, I'd probably give it a two out of ten. And it's lucky it gets that. It sucks. My Son the Vampire is awful. And then there's also a couple of uh, the cartoons in this are uh, a Superman one called Mechanical Monsters, which is really good. And actually I have a video with that cartoon in it called uh, and then I for whatever reason, I combine it with me mailing a letter in the dark just to see how well my camera would work, I guess. And it's called the Mechanical Monsters Only Mail at Night. Ooh, this looks cool. Hope you like the effect, everybody. And uh, I have that video. That video is okay. And then there's a Popeye uh, cartoon called I Don't Scare with Olive Oil being real superstitious. That's a really good one. But I'm still f trying to figure out what... Uh, what the whole bread and butter thing, walking around saying bread and butter means. I, I don't, I have no idea what that superstition means. I ask people and they don't know. I even asked my dad and he has no idea. But I give props to this double feature DVD, Bucket of Blood and My Son of Vampire. Bucket of Blood, if you get a chance, Bucket of Blood is the one to see. My Son of Vampire, skip it, unless you want to see Bella Gosi, like I did. But it's a horrible ass movie. So that's one movie review. So till next time, I hope you liked it. Take care of my legion. And I don't think anyone's reviewing these old movies anymore. You know, they're so jaded, jaded picking the new ones, you know what I mean? All right, take care.